Hi, this is Coach Weber. I'm here. I'm going to talk about uh, a strategy we use in Christiansburg to build our youth numbers up. Uh, there's a lot of things that we do, uh, you know, to build our numbers, to keep the kids out, keep them interested. Um, but uh, I'm, going to, I'm going to focus specifically on a strategy that we use to uh, to get kids out for our beginners league, uh, rec, a rec type league. Um, this league is geared towards wrestlers, you know, with no experience. Uh, up to two years, maybe experience, kindergarten to sixth grade level. Um, it's a season that we run for about six weeks long. They have like two practices a week. And uh, and they, they, they duel other teams, uh, the rest of, compete against other teams in the area. You know, all the local teams get together, uh, all the local towns get together teams, and then they get together and uh, bring the, you know, less experienced kids in the towns together for, for a rec slash uh, beginner's league. Um, now, there's a, you know there's a lot of strategies you can use to to you know try to get the numbers out for a league like this. Uh, you know you can put uh, ads in the newspaper. You can send out emails to maybe wrestlers that have been in the league uh, previous years or at some point of your program. Um, you can put up signs, uh, local businesses. You can send out snail mail to kids. Kids uh, or parents that have been in the program before, flyers around town. Um, but I feel the big one here is uh, if you to try to get to, into the PE classes in front of these kids um, in elementary schools. Um, ideally, and this is this is the system that I'm going to talk about. Ideally, you want to try to get uh, in front of every single kid. Um, in your area, in your town, whether you got one elementary school, whether you got four elementary schools, uh, you know, whatever, whatever your team, your part of the league is going to be uh, in charge of, um, ideally strive to get in front of every kid. Um, and that's what I want to talk about, um, are, the, are getting, in, getting in these PE classes, you know, maybe how to get in there and uh, what to do once you do get in there. Um, now, when you... When, when you start putting together, putting together a game plan, uh, you got to have the big picture in mind. Now, if you do get to go in front of uh, you know every kid in town, every PE class, every elementary school, this is a pretty um, powerful position you put yourself in. And you know I don't I don't believe that this should all be all about wrestling um, or whatever sport you're promoting. It shouldn't be about just getting in there and trying to get. Obviously, you want to get as many kids out for your sport as possible and and keep them out, and then you'll have the strongest program eventually. Um, but uh, you know, that's as 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 a coach, as an educator, that's not your that's not your job. That's not, that, that's not the big picture. Big picture is you want to get in there. If you have a chance to get in front of these kids, there's a huge trend. Um, going across America with uh, more and more kids dropping out of high school. You want to get in there and you want to talk about the things that are important to these kids, a commitment to graduate. So, you know, if you get in front of these kids, they're hearing it from their administrators, from their teachers, from their parents, um, and you're, you're, you've got a responsibility if you get in front of these guys or these guys and gals in these elementary schools uh, to talk about that. Um, inspire uh, inspire them to uh, a higher education. You know, with my high school guys, that's one of the biggest things. I always I talk about it constantly. It's not about wins and losses. It's about developing the character um, that's going to help you succeed once you get out of high school. You know, help you get that high school diploma with the highest grades as possible. Um, and then point out athletics help in good decision making. Um, so these young these these young students uh, they're hearing this stuff, and if you can. You can talk about these things. Um, that's going to be bigger than any any athletic experience. You know, that's why you want to get them into athletics is, is so that they can graduate, so they can aspire to go to college, so they can make good decisions, stay out of trouble, do the right thing, get good grades, all that stuff. So that's that's got to be your game plan. That's got to be your motive for uh, for getting in front of these kids. <clears throat> so okay, you got a game plan. You know what you want to accomplish. Um, how do you do it? Um, I would start off by, if you've never done this before, if you don't have much of a, uh, a relationship with anybody in your uh, in your um, elementary schools, maybe the, the PE teachers, principals, ADs, um, I would go to your AD or your principal and let them know what you want to do. Um, and you know, it's not, hey, I want to go 
to all the PE classes in elementary school and, and get them out for wrestling. Um, no, I want to get in front of these kids. I want to use my position to help um, inspire them to higher education, to graduate, let them know the importance of athletics um, and how that helps them make good decisions, um, you know, and, and get them on board. Help If, if your AD or your principal can, can go to bat for you and maybe call down to the elementary school and talk to the principal, um, let them know what you want to do, talk to the AD down there, talk to the PE teachers, whoever's in charge of lining this stuff up, it's going to really help you out a lot. Um, so that'd be my first step, you know, if you don't have a relationship already in those schools. Um, and, you know, if, and if you can't get help there, well, then you're just going to have to cold call and you have to go in and, and uh, you know, set up a meeting with the principal or AD or PE teacher, you know, where, and, uh, and, and go from there and let them know what you want to do. Um, and, and you want to try to build a relationship. Uh, it shouldn't be just, uh, this shouldn't just be a one-time thing. You know, try to go. Uh, most elementary schools love it if a coach um, wants to come down and help with morning announcements and get on the morning announcements and talk about, you know, commitment to graduate and the importance of athletics and how it makes help, importance of making good decisions and hanging out with the right people. Um, go in and read the classes, and this doesn't have to be just a coach. It could be your athletes too. You know, encourage your your uh, older athletes. Um, uh, through the school system to go down and read the classes and help with announcements and uh, um, hopefully they do that in your in your uh, in your area. So those are good ways to get in. That's a good strategy to get in. You know, if you've got a relationship already, go talk to somebody at the elementary school. If you don't, get your AD or your principal on your side. Let them know exactly what you want to do and how you want to help these these uh, younger students. Um, if, if you do get in the door uh, and you're fortunate enough to be able to line up uh, some some time to get in front of these students. Um, you're going to need some things to do a proper presentation. This is what we do. This is what I do. Um, ideally, I'm going to go in with a small mat, a 10 by 10 mat. Um, I'm going to have the teacher help me line up uh, and have a TV and a DVD player there. I'm going to bring a highlight video. Uh, I'm going to bring my promotional material, and I want to get two of my high school athletes there with me. Um, you might have to juggle it around. You know, you're going to want to go in and talk to the, your administration and let them know what you're doing, and they can go under a commitment to graduate, and they're going down there to, to talk to these kids and, and, and help out. Um, so a lot of times um, they're really willing to work with you, work with their parents, let the parents know what's going on, make sure their classes, their grades are all good. But, you know, get it worked out so you can get uh, two of your high school athletes there with you at the same time. Um, then obviously you want to be there or you want a coach that you trust to be there uh, that can, uh, you know, present well. Um, and, you know, this, uh, you know, might be harder for some than others. You might have to take a day off work. Uh, but this is, I really think this is ideal. If you really want to get some big numbers, um, this is this is what you got to do. Um, so this might have to be a price you got to pay to do it. Uh, maybe you talk to your booster club to compensate you for the day off work. Um, but uh, try to figure it out. It's going to be important for you to be there or have a coach there that uh, they can run the show properly. Uh, the, the, the flow of the presentation, and this is how I do it. And, and it's, it's good to go in there armed, know how long the periods are, lay it out, um, designate an amount of time for each of these areas because you don't want to just wing it and then all of a sudden uh, the class is up and you're only halfway through and you haven't got to talk about what you really were there for. So um, be prepared. You know, Take an outline like this and map out the times and stick to that schedule and as you do more classes you're just going to get a flow down. Um, but what I'll do is I'll start off and uh, they'll typically the teacher will do an introduction. They'll talk about me, why I'm there, uh, talk about the athletes that I have with me and then I'll take over and just briefly talk and go straight into the highlight video. And the highlight video depending if you have a short class you show a little bit of it um, but if you've got a long class, long period or a long class um, you know, you can use uh, that highlight video to fill up a lot of that time um, if you need to. So, uh, and, and make sure your highlight video, uh, you know, you want it to uh, be exciting. You want uh, good music in there. And if you, your team doesn't have a highlight video, get a highlight video from another wrestling team. Um, I've used Iowa, old Iowa wrestling highlight videos when uh, I couldn't get a hold of a Christiansburg highlight video. So, get a highlight video on that. That it gets to get a, gets the kids excited and they like watching that stuff, um, gather them around the, 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 
TV and uh, start off with that. And then once you're done showing the highlight video, I'll get the my two wrestlers out on the mat that I brought and I'll put them through a little rules clinic. Not long. I'll just you know go over takedown, how much, a couple different takedowns. I'll have them show it and uh, you know go over the points, um, escape, the reversal, how to get back points, uh, how to get a pin, and that's about it. Um, you know, talk a little bit about the rules. Just a brief. Uh, um, rundown of the rules and then uh, I'll have my two guys do a little drill session a couple minutes drilling some cool moves maybe some big double legs maybe a headlock um, you know something to get some oohs and ahs from the kids and, th and the whole time during this class uh, most PE classes have have the crash mats have the little uh, like wall mats and I'll put those around the mat that I bring and the kids can sit on there and they're you know they're close enough to be right right there with them, but you don't want to right on top of them. You don't want your guys falling on top of them. So, um, but I do. I get them right around the mat, and we'll do this little drill session. Then once I'm done with that, I'll hand it over to my student athletes, and, and I have I make them talk, um, and I coach them up. You know, don't I just don't say, hey, talk to these kids. You know, I tell them, hey, talk about um, how important it is to graduate and get good grades and hang out with the right people and how athletics have helped you do this and you've got an athlete that maybe is going to college or has a scholarship, have them talk about that opportunities, or if one started in your youth program and came all the way up through, you know, have them talk about these things and uh, make them talk. And, you, the, you know, they might be bashful at first, but after they do it a little bit, um, the, they'll get good at it and they're going to have a captive audience. These young, these young students love hearing their stories um, and they're going to listen to your athletes probably more than they listen to you. So, Make your athletes get up there and talk about these things because it can make a huge impact on those young students. Um, then I'll jump back in and I'll talk about the benefits of wrestling. And uh, I'm talking about you know how you're probably going to have these uh, these students are uh, they're going to be playing other sports. They're going to be playing rec league football and baseball, travel leagues and soccer and all that. And I like to talk about how wrestling can help all other sports, um, the strength and the balance and and uh, the positions you learn in wrestling will make you better at these other sports. Um, and I like to talk about the things that we do at practice. And this, this is this is the big key right here. Um, if you can bring a couple athletes with you um, from your high school team that are strong, um, and I like to do gymnastics. So I'll talk about maybe our warm up, and I'll put them through a gymnastics routine that we do in our warm up. And if you got athletes that can walk in their hands, do backflips, front handsprings, uh, clap push ups, just do stuff like that that'll impress the kids. That will set the hook more than anything. Those kid, the those young kids love to see this type of stuff. Um, and then you talk about you know, hey, these guys couldn't do these things when they were your age, but they started. They stuck with it. Look how strong they are. And I talk about I talk about things like that, um, and try to inspire them to want to want to come to our practices and want to learn how to do these things and get strong. Um, and then I'll bring the, then I'll pre present the promotional material, you know, the actual flyer for our rec league and start times and all that, and uh, talk about the specifics and let them know, you know, if they're interested at all. They don't. This isn't a commitment to to doing this, but if they think they might like this at all, take one of these flyers and take it home, show it to your parents, and let them look at it. Um, and I'll hand out the material, and I usually try to end with a, a question and answer and some kind of big bang, you know, maybe have one of my guys walk on his hands the long, as long as he can or do as many push-ups as he can or maybe have the class do a little push-up contest or something to get them excited um, before, they, before they walk out the door. Um, so hopefully they leave with the flyer in hand and uh, excited to take it home to their parents and, and tell them all about it. So that's kind of the flow of the... The presentation, and we've been doing these presentations a long, long time. And uh, there's some things that you need to be cautious of when you, when if if you get invited into these PE classes, uh, they trust you to come in there and get in front of these kids. Um, uh, you got to make sure you 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 get invited back. Um, you do things right, um, effectively, but you know, but uh, correct. At the same time, you don't want to get uninvited. Um, one of the first thing is uh, sign up sheets. Um, I've tried, I've tried taking a sign up sheet uh, before. You know, you might do that at your middle school level, or if you do a high school class. But these young kids, you got no business bringing a, a sign up sheet. 
number one, they're too shy. If you say, hey, if you're interested, come over here and sign up, and their little and their buddy doesn't do it, well, they're not going to do it. You're going to lose them. Okay, um, you're not going to be able to read anything they write. Uh, most of them don't know an email, their parents' email, remember phone numbers, even their address, so you're going to waste a bunch of time. Um, your best bet is just have that flyer. If they're, tell them if they're even a little bit interested, put it in their hand, put it in their book bag, take it home and show their parents. That's that's the best thing you can do. Um, there's You shouldn't be, even be interested in capturing emails or anything at this level. Um, big mistake, having the elementary students wrestle each other. Um, tried that before. I mean, the obvious uh, drawback to that is injuries. If, if they've never wrestled before and they get out of hand, you know, they can get hurt, then they're never going to want to do it. Um, but even bigger than that is if you get them out there wrestling, they're going to get so hyped up that they're going to want to wrestle the rest of the day. They're going to be amped up when they go to that next class. They are going to torture their teachers the rest of the day. Uh, the teachers are going to be upset. They're going to talk to the PE teacher. They're going to talk to the administrators, and you're not going to get invited back. Um, we've done this before, and every school has either had us not do it anymore or not invited us back, told us we can't come in anymore. Um, and then I've kind of regrouped in the past couple of years and gotten back at all the schools, but I don't do that anymore. You know, I talk to them. Uh, the ones that didn't let us back in, I, I talk to them and let them know that, that would not be the case. So you don't want to get them out there. Sounds good, but you don't want to get the, the kids out there wrestling. Um, there's a lot of drawbacks to it. And uh, just make sure your highlight video is appropriate. Um, you don't want any cuss words in your in your music. Um, can't use it. Uh, you're not getting invited back if you got cuss words in your highlight video. Um, you got to make sure if you have kids talking in the highlight video, they're not using slang, anything derogatory. You want a good, exciting, wholesome highlight video that gets them excited. Um, but got to make sure, you know, double check those things. Um, you might listen to it and not, uh, not even catch it, um, but double check and make sure that, the, that it's very clean. Last thing, power of a free T-shirt. If you get in the, in the classes, they, they allow you to do this. Um, make sure you get your teachers any administrators that are helping out, custodians, get, get these people free t-shirts. They all love it. They all love free t-shirts um, and it's going to help you get invited back. It's going to help. They're going to wear it around. They'll wear it to PE class. They'll wear it in front of the kids. Uh, it helps promote your program, but it just, uh, it, just uh, it, it, it gets them on your side. So I hope you enjoy the presentation. I, I understand that uh, everybody's situations are a little bit different. You might not be able to pull this off. You might be able to, but uh, hopefully if this doesn't fit your mold, uh, it gives you some inspiration in some fashion or gives you some ideas uh, on another way that might fit, uh, fit into your, your area, your community that, uh, that you can get in front of kids and get them excited about wrestling, get them excited about athletics. Even if you're not a wrestling coach, if you're any other coach, you can use this format just to get kids involved in something positive. Thank you very much.